Okay, and welcome back. Sorry about the slight cheating there, but you know, we did achieve the goal and now we've pulled back and now the farming industry area is doing very well. No recollections of our mass unemployment and, you know, recession of the couple of episodes ago. However, I have noticed there's a couple of dirty industry buildings over here, so they've got to go. But what does this mean for the rest of our city? Now that we've achieved that that one there are only two industry ones left which is to get 10,000 and to get 30,000 industry just any generic industry built so what does that mean it means that we can just come into here into like we can place industry wherever we want now and just we don't have to focus on getting people to farmyards we can just literally start building up an area like this and just making this much more of an industrial type vibe I'm not gonna jam pack it but we are gonna we're gonna basically put some units in here gonna give that a little bit of a unique feel so we can just literally just add I don't know why there's housing there and just start building up any kind of industry that we basically want. Always got to do that cheeky bit down the middle there. And there you go, now we can do things like this. Just really focus on just making our industry area a little bit better. Right, but it also means that we can now expand and go forth and do bigger and better ideas and everything like that. So why don't we open up a cargo hub? Because this is what we are going to be needing to expand and export our goods. When do we get the next tile? Almost! We're almost there. Almost 2,000 people. Just less than 2,000 people we've done it. And um, what do we get? Helicopter pads. Oh, that'd be cool. And yeah, helicopter depot, floating cafe, helicopter shop, stop. Nuclear power plant, awesome. Cargo hub, that is what we're, we're wanting to achieve. So why don't we start aiming that? I think this area does, yes, it does have a shipping connection. Thank God for that. And yes, why don't we start planning and putting those into place? So obviously the highway is on the wrong side, which is brilliant for us because we've got the toll booth on the other side. And why don't we have a look? What shipping have we got? We have a cargo harbour. Oh look. Okay, cool. So it all has to link up to this one area. What was over here before? What's that? I don't know what that is. Are we allowed to destroy that? Did anyone judge us? Don't know. So let's put. Let's just start off by having a mini cargo terminal ferry pier. Yeah, we don't. We don't need ferries, do we? Don't need a harbour just yet because we're not bringing in uh, any kind of. Let's try and make this a little bit nicer. So. Yeah, let's not have it like miles off the. Because if you put it up there, as you saw, it would have like this massive dock yard thing. And we don't want that. So, we're going to have to do a bit of landscaping. We're going to come down to about there. I'm going to plow into this. Don't worry about the water, it will recede. And then we'll just push this back gently. Oh, we've got too much. There we go. We just. Plop it at the bottom of the ocean here, no one will know. Just raise the mouth of the water bed up. Yeah. Could also bend that in a bit. That's a great way to get with the soil, is just to push the banks further in. And there we go, I think that's, that'll be a big enough area just to put a little cargo thing in at the moment. I thought that was a polar bear or something. Nope. Uh, let's click that. And then we'll just gently try and push those 
out. Another party foul. <laughs> Try and make this a bit more swooshy and landscapes. Too much soil again. <laughs> Just having a look, seeing if there's anywhere we actually need the soil. No, there is nowhere we need soil. We need like a reset button or an undo button, basically, for this. Oh no, no, we've really revealed that. Push that back out like that, like that, like that. So there's nothing worse than when you see, like, you just go along the border like that. There we go, that looks a bit unnatural. Right, cargo hub. Yeah, it seems to have calmed down, so whack one of these in. And you do want these on the outskirts of your city. Or on the inskirts with a very well managed traffic. Okay, something that looks industrial but is not industrial. That's what we're going to try and aim for. Just that kind of industrial look. We cannot upgrade that type of road. What? Now they're definitely going to need a way off this section. So. Do another one of those. I really like that one. Let's see if we can recreate the magic. We'll be back right after these messages. That was very long. That did not need to be that long. Take this one. This one lines up with that. There. Okay. Boom. Right. I call this junction the reindeer antlers and it looks absolutely stupid I know but it works and it's wonderful. So I call this intersection the stag because that is what it kind of reminds me of, like a stag with the with the reindeer and the things. I suppose if you're a, this is like the UK version, so if you're in any other part of the world, if you just intervert this, then it should work for you just as well. And then we're just gonna make a speedy tube carriageway, a speedy carriageway down to the port here. Kind of spent some time trying to make this better. Yeah. Okay, and let's start adding things that you would kind of find in a harbour, as well as connect this up. So it will now, it will now work. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we kind of want this gridish, not grid pattern. It has to be kind of a weird shape as well, to be fair. Because I don't know many ports that are just square. There we go. Pop one of these and why not? Just to give extra depth of flare. Anyway, we're going to do the plumbing and then we'll be right back with more ideas. Okay, so now we've put the harbour in, we need some watery themed objects and things like that. Mm. An incineration plant does give off that kind of vibe, but no, we need an actual power plant. Geothermal plant, that gives off power and it kind of looks like it should belong. So there we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's only going to be a small little dock, so we don't need too much stuff. Water, like water-based stuff, so we got one of those going. Oh, a large water tower. Yes, actually, something like that would be more appropriate. Let's delete the other one. Yeah. Okay, what other water props can we get down here? Yes, these will work well. No, it won't fit in there. Oh, we see, look, there's loads of cars already using this place. Brilliant. Breed some life into it. Don't really know what this does. What does this do? What we'll do is we'll come across here like that. And then we'll add another one of those water tanks in the top here. Yes, perfect. Put another water treatment plant in over here. See if we get any inspiration. Uh, no, it's all just dockyards stuff. Maybe put another one of those in. Then we just want to pepper this place with just a bit of industry and commercial. I would put offices down, but we're not trying to achieve offices just yet. That's going to be way weird if that's in there. Actually, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's do one small, one big building. Come on. Live adventurously. This is like a dockyards type thing, so there would be... And we are going to have another dockyards on the other side. But for now, this is going to be our little... A little one. That's a good dockyard building. Actually, some of these look would look really good. It's like a ye olde dockyard. Oh yeah, loving that. Loving loving the high density commercial over here. Let's just try and make it weirder shapes than this generic building. Yes, yeah, definitely more this shape. Would be lovely. And they'll be like, I don't know if you've ever been to like Yieldy dockyards, but they are like like this, like Chatham dockyard. Definitely like this. Take the back of that. We're going to cut that in two. I'm going to put mishmash of factories there as well. Put some low residential, low, low density small stuff in there. How are people going to get here, you say? Well, ferry, aren't they? There we go, we're going to put a ferry stop just so all the workers can get here. Just down the way. Should be nice and easy for them. And uh, where are we going to put it? Well, we need it near our transport hub. So why not there? We're going to have to put the ferry depot somewhere. Obviously, it comes with its own road, doesn't it? So we're gonna 
I need to unfortunately delete a couple of things. Potentially, or maybe not. But just in case, we're just going to get rid of those. There we go. Boom. And I want more of these lovely little buildings like that. A couple of big factories behind them. So it just shows like this is a live and well thriving community. And those in the background. And yeah, so this is what that's gonna look like. And now we need to get that public transport very sorted. Oh, this is one that I really hate. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And just a normal road. Oh, that's really high up. Don't like that. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. But this is how I connect in our little ferry port. Why not? They're not going to stay around for long. Our ferry stop's going to be here. To here. And back. That's a nice, easy way for the Docklands people to get to their need of work. Their point of work. Okay, so we'll have to fit. I'll fix that off camera. But. Yeah, look, there's a bus stop and everything there, I believe. Yes, there isn't a bus stop, but we can make one. Thank you, thank you. And there you go. You can now get to work via ferry, which loads of them are. And jump! Jump in the water! Jump from there! Oh, tons of them are doing it. Uh, maybe this isn't a bad way to get people around the city. Right, I'm going to leave that there because it's another half an hour done. And I will see you in a long time because I've got to edit all these and get them all together. But I'm feeling really good about the city. It's looking really good. And here, this is the nice little small area that we'll be working on and we've been working on. And it's been a pleasure to have you aboard and see you next time bye i hope you enjoyed that and remember to like subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode oh we still got some seconds why not give me some feedback in the comments below it would be greatly appreciated and bonus you can find me on your favorite social media platform links are in the description below until next time have a lovely day